the president of Ohanese Ndibo Worldwide, Chief John Nyangwodo, while speaking during the event, commended the initiative, urging the Igbo nation to unite and speak in one accord. Chief Ngwodo further maintained that restructuring is the only way to set things right in the country calling on the Igbo to vote wisely during the forthcoming general election for the interest of the Igbo nation and Nigeria at large. In an address, the host and the president of Igbo World Assembly, Dr. Mwachuku Anakwenze, who is also the traditional prime minister of Abagana, called on the Igbo around the world to embrace education, uphold the rich cultural heritage, and also invest on Igbo land for economic growth and development. They need to continue pursuing the higher education, but they need to learn about their Igbo culture and language. They need to come back home to help integrate and work with our people home so we can put them up. We are in a very strong position in the whole diaspora. The Igbos were the majority everywhere. We are the majority Africans everywhere. On their part, the national president, Otusubaku Ibo, Professor Peter Ejofo, and the chairman, Ibo World Congress, Professor Anthony Ejofo, who commended the efforts of the Ibo World Assembly, noted that reviving the Ibo language should be the stepping stone towards achieving the objective of making the Ibo nation an outstanding tribe. They canvassed for every South state government to include Ohanes and Ibo in their annual budget to help strengthen the union. Others who spoke at the event, including a former commissioner for works, Anambra State, Honorable Mrs. Chika Ibeneme, Professor Emma Okota, Ugezu J. Ugezu of Nollywood, and Chief Clems of Edu, who is the Chief Palace Secretary of Abagana Community, appreciated the organizers of the event, as well as the host, Chief Anakwenze, calling on Ibo to embrace love and unity in diversity as a way to attracting more development to the region. From Abagana Community in Njiko Kaluku Government Area, Valentine Mbadoga reporting for ABS News.